I'm not of the mind that we have to take a tight end in this this draft uh, simply because we lost Hayden Hurst. Uh, to me, it's got to be the right tight end. Uh, Harrison Bryant caught my eye. Uh, a 6'5", 240. Um, very, very slick in and out of breaks. Uh, very good as a blocker. Um, a very well-rounded tight end. I think he fits in quite well. They, they run him out... Um, Flex him out wide, they run him out of the slot, um, they use him as a lead blocker, they use him as a sniffer, they use him in line, they use him protecting on the edge. Um, uh, he definitely has sort of a number one tight end upside to me. There are some drops on tape and that is a concern, um, but I'm pretty excited about the things uh, that he does well and uh, how well-rounded he is uh, coming out of college uh, as a blocker and as a pass catcher. I'd like to start the video looking at three uh, consecutive plays on it, a drive. Uh, they kind of highlight how well the, the offense at Florida Atlantic used him, but how versatile he is. Here he's the uh, sniffer, and he goes off the, the uh, guard's outside hip, gets on the linebacker, and he's the lead blocker. The very next play, a little further in, goes off the center. He's the lead block again. Uh, this next play is really uh, well well designed, and it comes on the heels of those two, of course. Uh, he's uh, directly behind the uh, left guard here. Watch how he sort of slow plays this block here, and he's real good at that. We'll get into that in the video. Really gives the uh, picture of a guy who might be blocking. Sets up these two uh, second-level guys, splits them. See ya. So that some of that is is how how well. Um, you know he's used this is a great scheme and these are three great calls in terms of how they use him but he's the chess piece uh, again we see here on the first call he, he is a lead block second call he's a lead block and uh, the third call um, he sort of slow slow plays this fake sucks in the linebackers see ya third and one let's look at him as a blocker Really, he's left with the edge here. He's got the, the edge defender, which is strange. They use him that way a lot. Uh, you see him step inside first to make sure uh, this guy isn't going to try to spike inside. But he's, he's protect, protecting the blind side there if this guy comes as well. And then watch him help. Right there, puts his shoulder into the, uh, the tackle. Uh, so we'll look at him as a blocker, and they use him all over the place. Uh, run blocker, pass protector. Um, he's really, really good at it. He's lined up in line here outside the right tackle. And he's charged with pass protection again on the edge. This back ends up uh, helping the uh, tackle. He doesn't need help. Watch the rip from the D end on Harrison. Watch how he stays square. Watch how he stays contact in contact there. He has his right arm inside the uh, shoulder pad. Watch how he moves his feet. And I'm just impressed and, and a little amazed at how, how well he does on the edge and how much they trust him uh, to protect the edge. Here he is uh, in line next to the left tackle, this time in, as a run blocker. Watch him get on the linebacker uh, on his outside side shoulder, turn and seal him and then stay on him. He's a tenacious blocker. He stays in contact, stays connected, gets his hand uh, on the shoulder and continues to drive him. Watch it again. Just so we don't think he, he does this only against a, uh, a lower level of competition, we're going to sprinkle in a fair bit of the Ohio State tape. And this, will, this gives you a little bit of his play demeanor, uh, an insight into his demeanor as a football player. He's got to reach that, that uh, outside linebacker or inside linebacker. Watch him stay on him. Man, love that. Love that. This is him out of the slot. He's really good as a blocker. He's also really good at selling fake blocks. We'll get into that uh, and varying his route speed. But watch him turn, seal this guy, and drive this guy. Kind of widens his base as he drives to the sideline, uh, and he stays on him. Uh, this guy's trying to shed, get off. He just can't, and shoves him at the last second. Uh, you get the feeling he's kind of pesky to these linebackers and safeties. I'm going to set this play up 
and then I'm going to let it run and it, it more or less speaks for itself. I want you to pay attention all the way through to the very end. This is him outside the right tackle. Uh, he's charged with a, a combination block here on this uh, Fortec. Uh, his team's running a, a stretch or outside zone run here. Then he's going to climb to the second level. His job would be to reach uh, this defender and if he can't, to drive him to the sideline. Um, that's what he does ultimately is drive to the sideline. He's going to read that, that defender's helmet uh, to, dis, uh, to decipher where the play is, that it's behind him, not in front of him or to the sideline or outside of him, and then watch it all the way through. Watch how he finishes here. Combo, drive. This is him one-on-one -on -one in pass protection, protecting, protecting his quarterback versus Ohio State. Uh, really like the technique here. Very under control. Gets his hands inside. A little bit of a step for the edge guy. Watch his hand placement. He's got his uh, right arm uh, just inside the uh, uh, breastplate, the outside shoulder. Just under his pads there, but that left hand on his hip. And he's going to continue to drive run his legs, push him past the pocket. Just so impressed, like I said earlier, that they, they leave him in. They trust him protecting the edge. I, I really like how they use him in school. Here he is in the slot, and uh, he's so good at setting up these, selling these, that he's, that he's a blocker. Uh, part of that is because he's a good blocker. Uh, I guess the intent here is to, to get this defender to come down and, and play the uh, flat but um, we'll see throughout uh, the remainder of our clips how good he is at setting up with uh, these fake um, faking that he's blocking, coming across the, the middle here on a slant and catching this football. This is him flexed uh, in, in a stack out wide. Again, he comes off the line as if he's blocking. He's going to disengage. Still kind of stalks this, this safety as if he's going to uh, block downfield. I love how calm he is here. And it's a nice connection between he and the quarterback. Um, kind of turns at the last section. Re second, really a timing throw to him. Um, you can see he's got his back to to the um, to the defender. The defender's got his is facing him at this point, anticipating that he's going to be blocked or taking on a block. And uh, just a really nice setup for this throw. He does a nice job in their scheme and in their play calling, uh, setting up uh, routes uh, to look the same, one, one play to the next. You see that in-breaking route there uh, off of the uh, RPO. Very next play against the same coverage. Watch how he makes this route look exactly the same. Turns it upfield. Uh, at that point, he's free and clear of the corner, and the uh, quarterback goes elsewhere with the football. Really sells that nicely. I would bet just watching him move that he's played basketball. This is him. Watch him just kind of hit this low post move. Feel the uh, defender try to get underneath that route and sort of drift as he sees the quarterback leave the pocket. Again versus Ohio State. Again out of the slot. Uh, inside leverage by the, the DB here. Um, real good feet at the line. Nice hands, too, once he gets clear. Watch him go up and get that football uh, and uh, come down with it. Watch his feet at the line here. Hard plant inside. Uh, swim the hands. Get on top. Find the football. And secure it to the ground. Nice play. We've mentioned this uh, all video, but here we go again. That slow kind of stalk block um, sets up this defender with this underneath route. So a nice play design here, and he beats him inside. Note that in each one of these sort of fake block instances, as he gets square and kind of moves uh, toward the defender, He's really effective in getting the defender, in each case, to stop his feet or to lean. And that's how he beats him. 
here is one uh, of two drops versus Ohio State. I would say that that is a concern. This is him uh, here. Um, he, I've seen him drop a pass in each game I've watched. Um, you can see he takes his eyes off this football, does not secure it, and he turns his eyes to the defender coming toward him. I do like him off the line here. I set this defender up inside or outside and beats him inside. Again, he takes his eyes off the football and towards the defender. Right there, you can see it. The ball comes out. He does a nice job here. Um, Feeling that he's getting uh, redirected, but but not carried any further up the seam. Uh, it's third down. He's going to fold this behind the uh, linebacker, reads the deep safety. Uh, the problem is he drops this football. Now, it is thrown low. It may even be deflected, but it looks like to me he can go and get this football. Uh, and he's got a chance to make that catch down low. 